Hey guys, hey, welcome to Smokey, Steve, and Mark. I'm Mark, Steve's around. Say hi, Steve! <laughs> welcome or welcome back. Ah, oh, so you got Steve yesterday and you get me today. Oh, well, lucky you, right? <laughs> no, you know what? I thought it would be a lot of fun on this Friday night to do a little quick bite with you. Oh yeah, and this recipe, oh, it's so fun. It's so delicious, or should I say decadent? Oh yeah, it's a dessert recipe. You know me and my sweets, right? <laughs> Definitely. So, uh, uh, you, you, you want to know what we're going to make? Oh yeah, okay, so we're gonna make a Butterfinger Poke Cake. Oh gosh, these are so good. Just wait, and it's not like, you know, made with Jello or anything like that. It's totally, totally unique and very, very delicious. It's actually one of my favorite desserts. I love desserts like this. Um, I'm not a huge candy fan. Um, I like my candy, but I, you know, I'm more into the, like, uh, the baked goods, you know? So when you have a candy, combined with a baked good. Oh yeah, I am all about that. <laughs> you know, really I am. But I will tell you that Butterfingers are one of my favorite, favorite candy bars. Right up there with a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. Um, pretty much that said. I mean, I do like my chocolate, you know, so there's Kit Kat bars and nut As a matter of fact, what's your favorite candy bar? Oh, we want to know. You leave a comment below with your favorite candy bar, okay? You can't be like me, you know. Oh, Butterfingers, Kit Kats, Reese's, blah, blah. Just one. We want to see what your favorite candy bar is, okay? Okay. <laughs> oh, so you know what? I'm not going to yap anymore. After all, this is a quick bite, right? It's supposed to be a little bit, well, quicker. <laughs> Quicker, more quick, I don't know, you know. So anyway, why don't we head over to the kitchen and whip this baby up? Come on, let's go. Oh, we have a we have a great recipe to do today. Oh, today we're gonna make a butterfinger poke cake. Oh yes, and this isn't like those uh, those poke cakes like Christmas time, you know, with the red and the green jello in it. Oh no, not like that. This takes poke cakes like to the next level for sure. It is so good, and it's kind of a hack recipe too because it starts with a cake mix. So. Let's get to it, shall we? For this sinfully delicious dessert, you will need one box of golden butter cake mix, and then you'll also need one third of a cup of butter melted, one cup of whole milk, three large eggs, one tub, that'll be about eight ounces of extra creamy Cool Whip, oh yeah, and then salted caramel ice cream topping, uh -huh. and hot fudge topping, and you'll need about a cup of each of those, and the star of the show, Butterfinger candy bars, and you're going to need about, oh, a cup to a cup and a half of them all crushed up. This is one of those mini, uh, mini bar packages. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is empty out our cake mix into a large bowl, and to that we're going to add our wet ingredients, that would be our milk, our eggs, and our melted butter. Okay, and then we're just going to beat this until it's uh, all nice and combined about a minute or two, okay? All right, our batter is ready. And now we're gonna prepare a 13 by nine inch pan uh, by greasing it or spraying it with some nonstick cooking spray there, okay? And now we're just gonna pour our batter in uh, and, and spread it out nice and evenly. All right, there we go. We're nice and evenly. Um, Spread out there. Okay, so now we bake in a 350 degree oven until it's nice and gold on top and a toothpick inserted in the center comes out clean. That'll be about 25 to 30 minutes. Oh, here we go. All right. 
just perfect. It's pulling away from the edge a little bit. It bounces back when you, ah, oh, just perfect. Whew. Okay, so now we're going to let this cool for about 10 minutes while we get our uh, poke fillings together. Yeah. Oh, yeah, just perfect. Okay, so for our fillings, we have the salted caramel ice cream topping, and we have our hot fudge topping, too. So what we want to do is we want we want them to be, like, pourable. So you can take the lid off and put the entire jar in the microwave and then just hit it for, like, 10-second intervals until it's nice and pourable, just like this. You don't want it to be too thick. And we're going to do that with both of our toppings, okay? And now we are going to poke our cake. So we're going to take a straw or maybe the back of a wooden spoon and we're going to make uh, little pokes in our cake. Not all the way to the bottom. Like you don't want to go all the way through. Um, but, you know, half, three quarters of the way through and randomly poke holes all in the top about an inch apart or so. Now you don't want them to be too close because we're going to go back through a little later and make some more holes for the hot fudge topping. Oh yeah, I think this is good for our um, caramel. I think every uh, slice will, will get a little bit. Yeah, really good. And now, oh yes, we're just gonna kinda uh, put this right on top here, sort of concentrating on the holes a little bit there. Um, and we're gonna put it all over the top. And like I said, it'll take about good, a cup. Good, good. And this is like an OCD thing, you can keep doing this yeah, we're good with the caramel. Okay, so now we are going to take our straw and we're going to do some more holes where we don't have holes. All right there. And oh, yes, our hot fudge. Ooh. <laughs> and we're going to do the same thing we did with our caramel. Kind of concentrating on those new holes, but uh, it's not... Uh, you know, you know, it, it, I just say that it's not like it has to be, you know, like done. Look, I'm, I can't even think of what I'm saying. I'm so into this. Now we're going to finish this off by spreading it all over the top, just like this. Oh my, you know, <laughs> sticky, sweet, yummy goodness here. I <laughs> this should be outlawed, really. Ugh. Okay, and now we're going to uh, let this cool down completely while we make up our frosting. Okay, so for our topping or our frosting, we need uh, eight ounces of extra creamy Cool Whip topping. Now, I went ahead and made my own, and you could make your own too with heavy whipping cream if you'd like. But I've mentioned this before uh, in the past when it comes to baking and stuff. I do love using the Rich Whip. Uh, so this is Rich's uh, company. This is a great non-dairy topping. Takes about two minutes to whip it up. And uh, why I like it is that it's it's... It lasts a lot longer. It's more sturdy and it holds up a little longer than your traditional whipped cream does, which gives you an extra couple days in the fridge too if you're not going to eat it all um, that quickly. So I went ahead and made up some of that. And then there. I took our butterfingers and oh yes, we made some crumbs out of them. <laughs> all right, and all we're going to do is add our crumbs to our. A whipped topping and we are going to save a little bit to sprinkle on top probably about that much i have a few more candy bars there so let's mix this up and see if there's enough in here oh yeah i can tell that's good <laughs> yes this is good oh okay all right and there's our topping let's get our cake okay let's see you see it good okay there we go and uh yeah, we're cool. Okay, we're good. All right. Yep. We just top this right on top. <laughs> now, I usually do a couple dollops like this because I'm going to try my best not to get that hot fudge up in there. But I did pop the cake into the fridge for about 10 minutes too. So that should help too. It should have set up that um, uh, hot fudge and it did. Okay. So we're just going to spread this all over the top. <laughs> Okay. Ooh, I think that's good. Yep, yep, yep. Or it is. <laughs> oh, can you tell I like my sweets? <laughs> I really do. Okay. All right. And then, oh yes, sprinkle. Oh 
yes, with the rest of our remaining butter of finger crumbs. Do, 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 do. Okay, very good. Oh, very, very nice. Ah, oh, this is this this is just one of those desserts. Really easy to make. It feeds a crowd. People will like it. You have a summer picnic coming up. Maybe uh, you can make this way you know ahead of time. Keep it refrigerated and bring it the day of. Just fabulous, y'all. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna cut a couple pieces there, take some pictures for you. But uh, but there you have it. Our Butterfinger Poke Cake. <laughs> Okay, so you know I had to have a little DYK, right? Especially because we're talking about Butterfingers. <laughs> so I thought it might be fun to take a little look at the origin of this yummy candy bar. So Otto Schnering, now he was the founder of the Curtis Candy Company, and he invented the, the, uh, the Butterfinger candy bar in 1923 all the way back in 1923. Now the name comes from a sport insult used to describe players who, well, really couldn't hold on to the ball all that good. And to choose the name of the new candy bar, um, the company held a big public contest to do it. And one Chicago resident thought that Butterfinger would be the perfect name, especially since the company's other famous candy bar was Babe Ruth. <laughs> now, to promote the new candy, oh, check this out. The Curtis Candy Company dropped Butterfinger bars all over cities, all over the United States. Oh, would I have loved to have seen that. And the candy bar was also featured in the Shirley Temple movie, Baby Take a Bow, and it became really popular after that. <laughs> now today, oh, the Butterfinger is manufactured by the Ferrera Candy Company, and it's still made in the U.S. Oh, this, this is so, so, let's look at that. Let's see if you can see the, isn't it cool? Oh, oh, what is it? This is dangerous to have in the house, a whole nine by 13. So uh, I'm telling you what, you know, we're gonna take several slices into work for my coworkers because we can't have this in here. I mean, I I would eat. It's kind of um, it is decadent, it is rich, but it also is a little bit light in a way. So you know, when you're you can just eat more of it. Like I don't know, I don't know how to explain it because it certainly is a delicious, rich dessert and really fun and easy to make too. Oh my gosh, you have to give this one a try for sure. And oh, since we're all about the Butterfinger today, the Butterfinger, oh, Butterfinger, they also have a contest going on with an instant win on it. Oh yeah, free to enter and everything. And you can enter all the way till the end of the month. So mm -mm, I'm trying to win something. I haven't yet, but I'm trying. So I'll put the link down in the description below, okay? And good luck with that. Definitely enter, it's totally free, it's fun. You just put your name uh, in and your email address in, and then you get to spin the wheel. And if it lands on you win, you win an instant prize. And they have all kinds of different prizes you can win. So uh, I'm doing for a win let me tell you i really really am i haven't won anything in, in in a little bit here so i'm hoping i win something from butterfinger yeah and i mean i hope you win too of course <laughs> but anyway that was our uh our quick bite recipe for today i hope you enjoyed it and i really hope you give it a try and send us some pictures if you did okay okay <laughs> all right i'm not gonna keep you any longer thank you so so much for spending your time with me this evening um you can check us out over on Facebook, X, and Instagram, and definitely hit that subscribe button and the notification bell too, so you know, um, you know every time we put a new video out, okay? All of our contact information is right down below. Uh, that's our, our email address and our post office box. And if you have any questions on the recipe today, just shoot me an email, I'll get back to you, okay? Thank you again, everybody. Look, it is Friday, y'all. Happy Friday. Happy weekend. You have a fantastic weekend. And uh, I believe we'll be seeing you tomorrow evening for some Saturday night chit-chat. So I will see you then. Take care, everybody. Mwah! <laughs> mm.